What's going on guys? It's Scott Crow from Ocean State Aquatics TV and a problem we come across all the time in the field and asked here in the shop is what is this red slime algae growing over my rocks, my sand bed, and how do I get rid of that? How come I, like, I shut off my lights and it's just not controlling it? Well, it's because you got cyanobacteria. So this week's OSA pro tip of the week is cyanobacteria, how to control it and prevent it inside your aquarium. First off, we have to understand that this red slime is not an allergy, it's a bacteria. It's called cyanobacteria is the appropriate term for it. And it's a very common problem, a lot of people run into it. It's okay, we're gonna fix it, all right? So this bacteria is from excess nutrients in the tank. A lot of that is excess waste, excess organics. Where's that coming from? A lot of it has to do with heavy feeding or overfeeding inside the aquarium. Uh, some of it also has to do with not enough water changes inside the aquarium. But where you're gonna see it develop is around the rocks and inside dead spaces. Why? Because that's where it can grow the quickest and the fastest. You'll see it double in size within 24 hours. The most important part is you wanna make sure you have great filtration. Uh, obviously you want a refreighted tank, a sump, and that much better filtration because you're gonna run a large protein skimmer. Protein skimmer's job is to take organics and excess waste out of the water. That's why they're so fantastic and so important. And these are gonna help tremendously in preventing cyanobacteria. Another thing you wanna make sure you keep on is regular maintenance water changes. That's also huge, because this way here, you're doing water changes to take organics out of the water and keeping your nitrates down. The next thing we use is beneficial bacteria. It's beneficial bacteria that break down all these excess wastes. The ones we like to use in the shop and in the field are Fritz's 460, which is absolutely fantastic, and Seachem Remediation. That's part of the Aquavitra line. These two products both pretty much do the exact same thing, and we really love these products. And what they do is they break down the excess nutrients or organics that are inside your water that that cyanobacteria to bacteria is developing on, growing on, feeding off of, and helps the protein skimmer take pull as much of that organics out as possible. This helps good, clean filtration and will slow the preventing any sort of that bacteria building up. Next, let's talk about media. Now, we just use beneficial bacteria to break down excess bacteria that's in the water column, but let's use media to help pick that up. What we get in is Purigen. Purigen is a fantastic product that's made by Seachem, and that helps remove a lot of the organics that it's collecting itself. Another one we get into is ChemiPure. ChemiPure is another fantastic product, and we put these right inside our sumps. Now, if you are using a hang-on bag, you can also use these on the HOBs, the hang-on bags, um, but we really prefer using a Reef Ready system so you can use protein skimmers to get this at its full potential to pull all these organics out of the water. Now let's say you're doing all this and you're still running into a cyanobacteria problem. Okay, the next thing is, I'm gonna say two magic words, water flow. Why does this matter? Well, if there's not enough water flow inside the aquarium, you're gonna develop in the dead spots and that's where you're seeing it. You're seeing it develop slowly around the rocks and then it's spreading from there. So what I'll have you do is, I'll have you increase water flow by using power heads or some other pump to really push that flow across the sand and that prevents a lot of the cyanobacteria from developing on the sand or on side your rocks. Now cyano, because it's a bacteria and not an algae, no fish or invert wants to eat that. Just, they don't want it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna end up using diamond gobies or sand sifting gobies from your diatom bloom stage. What they're gonna do is they're not eating it, but they will mix up the sand and that will prevent the cyanobacteria growing from on the sand. Reason being that sand's always moving around, always tossing it, and it doesn't give the cyanobacteria time to grow on that sand bed. If the sand has nothing changing it or no flow going across it, the cyanobacteria is gonna grow like a sheet right across it. And that's what you don't want. That's why flow and having inverts that switch that sand around is so important. The last thing you wanna make sure you can control is temperature. If your temperature got skyrocketing, say if you're in the low to mid 80s, you're gonna actually increase the fast and the growth rate of cyanobacteria growing. But if you're running a reef tank, honestly, you should really be at 78 degrees at all times. That's the magic temperature number. But if you start hitting 81, 82, you're gonna see the cyanobacteria increasing. Don't give the cyano a chance to grow at an increasing speed like that. If you can, run a chiller system or be able to control the system around 78 degrees for your magic temp number. 
Now, there are some fantastic products that are available to help to remove this. Uh, another great product out there is Red Slime Remover. We do use this. The only thing is you don't want to base your tank on using products like this to remove this out of your tank. Reason being is you don't want the bacteria becoming immune to that because you keep using it over and over again. You'd rather be on a better maintenance schedule to just prevent it completely instead of using a Band-Aid on the subject. Another thing people talk about is erythromycin, but I'm not a big fan of erythromycin being the fact that it kills off all the excess bacteria. If you have more questions about cyanobacteria, and it's a possibility, I threw a lot of information at you guys quick, come on down to our aquarium design studio here in Coventry, Rhode Island. We love talking to people. We want to help you with any questions you have. Remember, there's no dumb question. You have to ask these questions. Nobody just knows this information. We all learned one way or another. Come on down and we'll help you out with anything that we can. If you have any other questions, make sure you hit us up in the comment section below. And as always, guys, keep on reefing.